Welcome to the Webby and O'Neill channel. We're back. Barcelona have been knocked out by Manchester United over two legs. All together, Webby, how are you feeling, especially with tonight's result? It's a great second half. You've got to give the manager all the plunge that he needed changing. He changed it about. And we looked a better team in the second half. Yes. You know, and that's no disrespect to Barcelona, but first half, was getting too much room. Busquets was running the show. We couldn't get near him. Class player. But then the manager's half-time, Fergus who ran and ran and ran and ran and he'll do it all day long for you. It wasn't working, he's changed it around and the second half tells you everything. I, I made comments about that first half in my video about Bruno in that first half. I said he should have scored. Oh, yeah. OK, and it was a ridiculous penalty he gave away. You have to take your chances, surely, Webby, against teams like that. Yeah, I couldn't believe how much space he got in for that chance he had right at the beginning. I'm thinking, I was waiting, ball. I, yeah, I was waiting for the fullback to just appear out of fresh air yeah, yeah, and yeah. chop him down. But no, he's got to score that. It was a poor effort. And apparently, obviously, I'm at the East stand, so I couldn't see I've seen the incident on telly since I've got back and it was a penalty. But we've come back against a team who were eight or nine points clear at the top of the league. Yeah. You know, and we've seen what the second place team did to the best team forever from Merseyside the other night. So, great result. You know, you look forward to the next round now. So, well, well yeah, half well time played. come, Webby. I was screaming for half time for Ten Hag to change it. Did he make some good changes there? Oh, I hear you. You can't bold his best. Yes. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So, <laughs> you can't fault him. So, you know, we needed so much to be done because at 1 0 for them, they get more and more confident. You know, we know what they like playing the football around. And if you don't, you know, you, sometimes you can't get near them. But we got in the faces. Great that we got the early goal from Fred. You know, I was in the ground there before and pe people were giving me strange looks, so... Go on. You know, I had well, well, what was that, what, you give You yeah, getting strange yeah. looks? I had that on. Oh, Fred. Fred. <laughs> so you know people looking Fred, at me. Fred, he's magic, the Brazilian. You know what I mean? And yeah, yeah. The boy kept me warm. Yeah. He he, what, me. what it is, Webby, like, and, and, and people agree out there because we get loads of comments with Fred. Sometimes he puts in a terrible performance in yeah. the first half. and like then he Leicester. Comes, yeah, and he's done it many times and then turns around in the second half and turns it round. Yeah. Uh, and, and tonight, he turned it round. It was like a bit of a shanky's goal, wasn't it? Yeah, it but it's a goal, you know what I mean? It was well struck. Yeah, but the effort he put in in the yeah, second half, yeah. the running around, he, he was excellent. I well, thought. everyone thought he wouldn't probably play tonight with people coming back. You know, they thought Arnie was going to play in there, but he's, he's gone for Fred, and rightly so. You know, he, there was a lot of... Put, I won't say poor, but average performances in the first half, and he was one of them. But by Christ, he come to the party second half, big time. In the second half, I thought United did the right thing tactically, and that was put the ball over him or through him yeah. to put him on the back foot. I thought they had it pretty easy for 30 minutes in that first half, but once them... We had two wingers there, Webby, yeah. and it was like the old days. The Man United centre forward, two wingers, away we go. Yeah. And we just put the ball behind you know him. what we did as well, Tony? Go on. We got it out wide quicker. First half, we were dilly-dallying with it. But second half, it was a ball in the midfield, control wide, either side. And it upset their room, because if you look in the first half, both of their full-backs were flying on because we were too, too slow yeah. with the rotation of the ball. Second half, we got the ball, we got it under control, Casemiro bang, Bruno bang, good night, God bless. I, I, I look at that back four tonight and I thought colossal. they were absolutely colossal, yeah. right? I, I looked at Shaw, I looked at Juan Bissaka, who I thought had an excellent game, yeah. right? And the two centre-halves, to me, Varane was a cool customer, all the way through it. Martinez battled. Have we got one of the best back fours in Europe, Webby? Big statement, but you got to look at the present time, you know. That, they keep winning. And they keep holding forget, people so, out. A lot, of these, a lot of these players, it's the first year they've played with each other. Yeah. And hopefully they keep uh, away from injuries and suspensions. And they only get better and better. You know, you look. I look at Adam Maguire's situation now. He's club captain, club record signing, 80 million for defender. Can't get a sniff. That's what I'm saying. About you cannot get back. a sniff. So it's telling you the two centre arse when everyone's fit, it's Ferran and Martinez and the rest. There you go. Going forward, Webby, Wembley, that yeah. team out there, can we do it? Yeah, you know, Newcastle's had a week off, but sometimes the games you play more games, you get that winning momentum. It spurs you on, you're playing at Wembley, 
you know, they'll have a day off tomorrow, probably a light training and travel Saturday. And we're ready for the barcodes on Sunday. So looking forward to it. It's going to be an hard game against a decent team until the last six or seven weeks have dropped off the mark a bit. But they're playing Man United. And just what I say before the finish, so... Oh, I've not finished that the, yet. That the coverage on Sky has already given Newcastle a trophy. It's an absolute disgrace asking a player what's his victory dance going to be like. That's what they do. They all hate Man United, but that's great. What I'd like to say is, and everyone should remember this, we've got Casemiro. They've not come up against a player like that this year at uh, Newcastle. And I think, to me, he will orchestrate it. He is fantastic, Webby. Yeah, I, I think we should send a few more quid to Real Madrid. I think we've had the pant pulled down there. So, yeah, yeah. You know I mean, you've pulled a few pants yeah. down in our life. But I think United have pulled Real Madrid. I think they might have to get on the phone and say, listen... I want to give you seven. I do want to have a couple. I deserve you know, absolute great player. You don't win all those Champions League and be a Brazil international no. and all those caps and play in a Real Madrid team if you're not half right. And, and what people forget so, he didn't play for about five or six weeks no, after no, signing. That, that's true. You know, where could we be if he started there? You know what I mean? And yeah. fair play to him. He's a main man. He's the nearest thing. I'm going to make a comment now. So, the nearest thing I've seen at Man United since Roy Keane. I really do. I really think he's the nearest thing. Let me know what you think, but I really think that yeah. is the nearest thing I've seen since Keno left the building. Well, uh, before the game, Webby, I was nervous. We've ended up beating Barcelona, the top side. Yeah. We're now in the last 16. Can we go on and win it? Well, who scares you in there? No one wants to draw Man United. No. Nobody wants to draw Man United in this, in this current situation. You know, I look at there, Newcastle. So West Ham might not have a game week and they play us Wednesday. They probably have a game. They won't be looking forward to coming here next no. Wednesday. Nobody is. This place is, is remind me of what it was like under Sir Alex, a fortress. I'm not saying just tonight, but I look at teams like the tunnel down before the, the ball's kicked. You know, and for years, we've had teams coming here and checking the piss out of us. Yeah, yeah. And they have. Yeah. You know, going away, little crappy teams beating us. But now, hopefully, it's back to what it used to be. Yeah, well, I'll say, I'll tell you this before we go. When a team is winning, it doesn't matter how many games they play, does it, Webby? You carry on. Right, long, it doesn't you. matter, right? They will keep winning and look forward to it. They won't feel the fatigue. They won't feel the little niggles. They will want to be on that pitch because they won't want to lose their place. And Fred... The second half wonder, because that's what he keeps pulling up with, was fantastic tonight, like the rest of them. But I've got to give plaudits, Webby, to Ten Hag. He sorted that team out at half-time. And listen, Man United, we're through, aren't we, Webby? Yeah, and you, you can't see. You, we can come in here game after game and we'll we be bigging the, manager up, bigging the manager up. But Christ, he deserves it. But he's so fantastic, He's Webby. coming to a club, what was yeah. in two mile. Yeah. He's got rid of one of the worst things... Uh, which was allegedly destroying the club in Ronaldo. He's come out of that smelling roses. He's handled the Maguire situation perfectly. The Jaden Sancho, because a lot of managers would have gone to Sancho. Hang on a minute, you're on this, you're on that. Get it, sort your head out. He's dealt with everything what's been thrown at him. He's plus running the, media. the club He's running. on his own, yeah. and that's what we needed. Yeah. A man to run all sides of the club. Listen, I hope you enjoyed me and Webby having a chat, get in the comments, press the like button, and most of all, Share the, share the video and Webby's here and he loves Fred, don't you? Come on, United!